Okay. So, I've been so busy. Things have been piling up in my office. So, I want to go through all these. I, I mean, I'm flabbergasted at the amount of stuff that people have sent me. This is really something. So let's go through all this stuff and see what we got here. We'll get the old switchblade out. Okay, let's get this party started. So let's see. I have, oh, from Rowdy Pierce. He's a um, Hunter's Washington. Oh, wow. That is a huge decal. Huge decal, Rowdy. Rowdy. MC. How do they get away with doing that without putting the cat logo on it? I never understood that. I thought cat would make them do that. Enclosed our two MC machinery over off something decals. They did not have any of the smaller cat dealer stickers like the others on your door. So they robbed these from the rental department for you. Thanks for subscribing and being a YouTube inspiration. Thank you very much, Rowdy. Rowdy makes good videos. He's going to be good at this. I, I, I enjoy your videos, sir. And he's gone out on his own, which is cool. This is from, from I think, Illinois. Illinois. Uh, I have an idea what this is. I think. A lot of Holy moly. Holy crap. More of those cable straps. Oh, man. Holy cow! Electrical tape. And what's this? Well, now I can put those on and not get covered in oil. That's cool. So, is there something in here to tell me? I'm sure. I'm sure that this is the same guy that sent me the first batch of stuff. Oh, that's awesome, man. These are awesome. I love these. These are all these are all pre-made up and everything. Wow! Wow! Thank you very much for that. That's that's amazing. That's awesome. Okay, one from Travis Lee in Agra, Oklahoma. Down there, and I hope this is one of those Frank Cunningham uh, Oklahoma credit cards. What with fuel prices being the way they are, I need one of them Oklahoma credit cards. I told Frank he needs to he needs to sell those. Oh sweet! Jeff encloses a couple Warren cat stickers from Oklahoma City. The nice lady behind the reception desk was able to score from one of the mechanics in the back. Just a small token of appreciation for all the hard work you put into the videos. I know it's a pain in the ass sometimes to edit and upload after a long uh, week in the dirt. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Travis Lee, coming through the city on I-44 on the way to Cat, I spotted the famous backhoe man, Frank Cunningham, in his red mini canny, hauling the New Holland. Small world. Thanks. Well, that's cool. That's a nice hat. That's a Richardson hat. Ooh, that is very nice. Wow. It says Warren Cat on the back. Very nice hat. And a decal. Warren, thank you very much, Travis. Ooh. Black Creek Arsenal, 101 East da -da -da Street, Four Oaks, North Carolina. I got subscribers down in the old Let's Dig country. What do we got here? Oh, sweet. Wow. Slope meter. <laughs> That's awesome. Dear Jeff, I appear to be getting old. We just sold our boat and I found a few leftover parts including the inclometer, inclometer enclosed. Hope you can find a home for it. Love your channel. Don't change anything even though... Dot, dot, dot. Nope, not going there. All the best. Eric Fogelman, Four Oaks, North Carolina. So, I get a lot of people that thank me for putting the time into my videos. So, Eric, you got to tell me what the even though means. Uh, I do spend a lot of time on the videos. Uh, generally, to put one out on Friday, I will spend at least 
to a couple hours every night all week long to get it done. Sometimes it's uh, kind of discouraging, but then on the other hand, you know, I get this kind of stuff. Makes it all worthwhile. Uh, plus I've met a lot of really cool friends, so I'll keep doing it. Okay, this is from Gavin Handley down in Australia. Gavin works for the cat dealer down there. Uh, when they were building the new airport, I think down at Sydney, he told me if I came down, he'd take me out there and show me what was going on. I mean, they had an incredible fleet of machines going down there. Uh, he made sure these decals didn't get trashed by the Postal Service, which is awesome. So Gavin, Gavin is the Major Accounts Manager, Heavy Construction, West Track, Party Limited, 1 Crescent Street, Holroyd, New South Wales. Gavin, Gavin worked his way up the hard way. He was a mechanic. Now it sounds like he's in management. That's cool. I got your email and your phone number. Maybe I'll call you. Only thing is, I gotta remember you guys are like 16 hours ahead of me. It's like time travel. I got a friend in uh, Emerald, and I'm always asking him for some stock, you know, give me some stock tips because he's so far ahead. <laughs> but it just doesn't work that way. Oh, wow, what is this? That is awesome. Holy smokes. Sold and serviced by West Track Cat, model and serial number. That's cool. I could rivet that to the door out there. That's cool. And that's what I'll do. I'll drill a hole in the door and rivet it. <laughs> That'll look good out there. West Track, the perfect size, Gavin. Thank you. The 1960s were a time of rapid change in international expansion for Caterpillar and a growing product line increased the durability, desirability for a co corporate symbol. This trademark introduced in 67 became an iconic representation of the Caterpillar Tractor Company and made cat products and services more readily identifiable regardless of the language during this era. The Pac-Man logo. Wherever there's mining, cat wheel tractor scrapers. I know Gavin likes scrapers. Thank you very much for that. These are cool. These, man, these are awesome. Wow. I'll have to get some little deals and uh, put a, I don't know, what model should I put on there? Cat door. What should we call the cat door? Anthony Midkiff from Conover, North Carolina. Another North Carolina one. Awesome. Got some Carolina cat stickers. Got a letter. Ooh, there's stuff in here. Ooh. Hey Jeff, had to send you some stickers from the Carolinas. Been watching your channel for a long time. My girlfriend sending you uh, Miss Pader her strawberry jam and some sliced peaches. We didn't forget Mr. Griffith either. I saw he likes bones. So guess this is a care package from Conover, North Carolina. Best wishes. Enjoy. Tony and Laura. Wow, that's cool. So that's awesome. And I, Mrs. Pater to love this. This is this is home canned peaches. Sweet. Sliced peaches, 622. You know, it's amazing that this made it without being broken. You guys did a good job of, excellent job of packaging this. Ooh, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Let's see, what else we got here? Oh, the jam. Strawberry jam, 622, with sugar. Um, that's the only way to have jazz with sugar. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Awesome. Maybe I won't give this to her. Maybe I'll just leave it out here. Oh, and for Mr. Mr. Griffey, Milk Bone. So, he was out here early this morning with me. I had a pocket full of these. And they're laying everywhere. There's one right there. 
He's put one under my car there everywhere. He loves this. That's cool. Mr. Griffey is now your biggest fan. Thank you. Okay, this one is from Pat Stalder, Oak View, California. Oh, sweet. A hat and some stickers. Wow. Quinn. On some. Oh, cool. Cat. No, Pat. Pat. <laughs> well, that's cool. You must have had those made. Pat. Pay dirt. Oh, cool. Coast grading. That's a nice hat. That's a Richardson 112. Awesome. Those are good hats. I like those. Hey Jeff, my name is Pat Stalder and I watch your channel on YouTube. I am owner operator with a bit of cat iron, 336, 12H, D6, etc. Here are some Quin Cat decals for your door on the shop. They are a big dealer in California. Anyhow, I enjoy your channel and include and include some swag for you. And he included his phone number. Thank you, sir. Oh, another box from Rowdy. So it's kind of funny because I've just been putting all these decals on the door and everybody's going, how come you don't have one from your dealer? Because I don't think my dealer likes me. That's why. Um, I don't know. Their social media guy, he wouldn't even take a phone call from me. So I've kind of written him off. Oh, wow, Rowdy. Those are nice hats. That's sweet. Ooh, a flex fit. Those are pretty hats. Thank you very much for that. And there's my first Western States sticker, I think. I may have, you know, over there I may have another one. I like the way you wadded this up, Rowdy. You're going to make me work for it, ain't you, buddy? Okay. No. Encloses a Western sticker and one of my hats, the Rowdy Excavator. Uh, I'll put a link in here. You can go check out Rowdy's channel. He's getting started, just getting started. So he is having uh, a lot of fun. Well, I don't know if you'd call it fun. Somebody T-boned his Super Dodge the other day and probably totaled it. It didn't look good. Anyway, he's having all the fun of a... Uh, self-employed contractor this is from Neil Strong uh, Neil Neil's the one that sent us the grade control for the uh, 336 Wagner Colorado dealer okay Neil what else did you put in the box <gasps> more stickers um, whoop, 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 whoop. sweet Oh, this is good. Sometimes reasonable men must do unreasonable things. <laughs> Lots of let's go. Brandon stickers. That's cool. Uh, you know, I've been wanting to make some bumper or some stickers up, put killdozer on that would say when they outlaw D9s, only criminals will have D9s. I never have done that. And then Tony Spresser, he's the one that makes all the killdozer, the filthy horror, uh, cutouts and stuff. Why not construction? He was down there and he sent me a couple of small ones. That's cool. So I got small ones and big ones. So I got one more package over here and I, I opened it, but I don't know if I've ever showed it to you. So this is a big box. Cat decals for the shop door. Okay, this, here's a letter. It says, Jeff, now that the pins are burned out, there will be more welding on the D9 before you're done. Really enjoy your videos. Thank you for bringing us along. Sincerely yours, Larry Seed. Um, P.S. I went down to Western States Cat Parts Department for the door art. Cat has the best O-rings for fixing boilers. Wow. Okay. So A, A and A heating and air conditioning. 
down there in Kalispell, Montana. Well, that's cool. And he sent me, you know, he's you spent way too much money, Larry. Look at this. How many pairs of gloves we got here? Three pack. Those are awesome. Jake will love you. He goes through those pretty regular. Those are awesome to have around. Thank you very much for that, Larry. Oh, sweet. It's got them taped in there. Awesome. Thank you, Larry. So that's everything, I think. Um, want to thank you guys for all this stuff. Now I've got this huge mess to clean up. Look what you've done here. Thank you guys for the hats. Appreciate that. How do I look? And Griffey thanks you for the milk bones. And Mrs. Paydirt for the peaches. And the jam. I shouldn't eat this. But I'm going to go in and get some toast and smear your jam all over it. <laughs> Okay, I just got done putting on some stickers. I put the chrome Ziegler one that uh, David Grujo sent me out of Minnesota. There. Uh, West Track is Australia. I got the McAllister. That's uh, Pennsylvania, isn't it? Thompson Cat. Greg Poole. Terra Cat. That's New Zealand. Warren Cat. I can't remember where they're from. Carolina Cat, Wagner, Western States, Sotrek, that is Brazil, and I had a rig sticker, a small one, and then there was something wrong with it. Anyway, when I put it on, the center of it cracked and crumbled, and it went to pot. And I do have, I have a huge rig sticker, but at this point, I'm not going to fit all of them on there if they come this size or this size. That's just too big. <laughs> they need to be like this and I can get them on there. So anyway, thank you very much for those. Um, now I just need some small ones. The Riggs, uh, Louisiana Cat, Wyoming. And what else am I forgetting? So I got Foley Cat, Holt Cat, Mustang, Empire, Fabic, Fabic, Yancey, Ziegler, Ohio, Blanchard, Carter, Stower, Stowers, Milton, Butler, West Track, H.O. Penn, Michigan, Toromont, Peterson, Finning, McAllister, Thompson, Sotrek, Tara, Gregory Poole, Wagner, Carolina, Warren, Western States. So if you didn't hear your cat dealer on there, um... Try to find me a small one, please. That way I can get them all on there. Anyway, I appreciate the large ones you sent me and the time and effort and money you spent doing that. But I just don't think I can get them all on there. I don't know what to do with all of them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll have to dedicate a wall in here for the larger ones. I don't know. Give me some ideas. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving today. Uh, I want to introduce you to a guy that stopped by earlier this year, um, Paul Penito Pen Paul Penanude. Penanude. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I have a hard time pronouncing that. Um, Paul sent me some drawings. Patanude. Patanude. Paul Patanude. Anyway, Paul sent me some drawings for hydronic heating system in the shop when I expand out that way. Anyway, I got two thick books. I don't know if you remember that. I was flabbergasted by what Paul did. Paul's a very, very smart man. And uh, anyway, when he was here, I just said, you know, looking at all that stuff you did, somebody would have to pay ten to $15,000 for all the work that you did to put that together. And he agreed. So 
Paul, thank you very much for that. I know you spent huge amounts of time. So here's Paul. I'll have him explain who he is and what he does. Uh, my name is uh, Paul Patnode, and I'm from uh, Denville, New Jersey. And I'm the proprietor of uh, Building Energy Analysis. And uh, my company specializes in uh, sequence of operations for commercial and industrial buildings, any size, any system. And um, basically what I do in New York and New Jersey is I try to go in and work with the facility people and I tell them why don't they have heat on the 49th floor, okay, but they have it on the 48th floor and they have it on the 50th floor. And I work with the chief and the, the, built, the facility manager and a uh, mechanical contractor if they need it and a PE and we come up with a plan and we rectify it. And when I leave the site, they have complete sequence of operation, IOM manuals, wiring and piping diagrams, equipment schedules, everything. So now that floor is documented and you can mimic it on another floor in the building. So Paul came all the way up here on his way back to Jersey to visit me and I almost killed him. I took him in the house and showed him my heating system. What did you think when you saw that? Uh, what was your first reaction to that? Uh, somebody was teaching somebody how to install uh, heating systems and neither person knew what they were doing. <laughs> it's just a mess of pipes and wires and um, a massive amount of code violations. And <laughs> you just got to say a prayer that you know, it works every year so that you don't freeze in the winter. So you don't want me using that contractor to do anything I, I, I out here? I would not recommend it, sir. <laughs> I would not recommend it, no. But we'll, well, we will come up with a plan, and, uh, and we'll document it. We're going to do a heat load on the house so we can determine if the heating system in the house is oversized, the loops, right, the loops, the radiant loops. Do we have too many? That's a, that's a problem, right? And we need to have the right flow on all the loops, and we need the heat load on the output of the heating system to meet what's called the balance point on the house, right? So the balance point on the house is the point, you know, the point at which the heat loss out through the, the out through the infrastructure or the, the thermal vessel, right? Or the uh, skin of the skin of the building, that's called the balance point, right? When the, when the heating system goes out through. Do I need to get somebody to come do an infrared in my house this winter? That, that would, that would be good. That would be good. And what you document that. Along with, uh, along with, we'll get the drawings sent out, and we'll calculate the heat, the heat loss through all the windows and the walls and and the floors, so that we know what's in there is what you need. Because you might not need all those loops; you might have too many loops. And and then and that also determines on the radiant system you have, because some of it is staple up and right, and some of it is in the concrete, right? Yep. That determines the amount of liters per minute, right? because they do it in liters because it's all metric, right? The radiant stuff, right? The, 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 that determines how much flow when you, when you, you know, you can do so much on each one of those radiant loops, it goes out and comes back, right? So you, you balance that flow. So if we don't need that much because we got too many loops, we can choke it down and you're, save energy. You're very knowledgeable and I appreciate you doing all those drawings and those books. Um, I'll go back and see if I can find that video, but I was absolutely flabbergasted when I opened all that and saw all the drawings that you did. So you said when you get back, eventually you're gonna do a YouTube channel yeah, and show? Yep, yeah, yeah. there'll be a called Building Energy Analysis, and it's gonna be basically to uh, help people in the industry and future clients maybe, um, wherever, they, wherever they may be, because they basically just need pictures. And, uh, you know. Well, let me make sure you let me know when you do that so that I can send people the link and show them oh, sure. because you are an invaluable resource. Sure. I'd be glad to help. So be glad to help. And it's called uh, from the older generation to the younger generation. It's like called encouragement, right? Pass it on. Yeah. So I'm yeah. passing on the knowledge to the next. You've been doing this your whole life? Uh, 40 something years. Oh. 40 years. I have a uh, 12 uh, contractor licenses in Connecticut, Mass and Rhode Island in three states for plumbing, heating, fire protection, boilers, chillers, Wow. Basically just commercial and industrial was my special. Awesome. Thing. Well, I appreciate you coming out here and yeah. stopping by. And that's why I was going to take the day off to come and see. I told the boys, I said, um, hate to stop work, 
but this guy told me he was coming through in October and I want to see him. I, I want him to show him I want to show him my house and I want to talk to him because the amount of work and time you spent on those books is really appreciated. That you, was you can show them in incredible. The yeah, I great. will. All right. Thank you very much. See you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Jeff's going to go in the house and harass Mr. Griffey. Stuff myself with turkey and gravy and all that fun stuff. Uh, uh.